Hello, and welcome to The Daily Decrypt, Episode 9. I'm Amanda, your host. Today, it takes $254 to purchase one Bitcoin, $3.11 to purchase one Litecoin, and $0.54 cents to purchase one Ether. The Crypti Foundation is holding a DAP development contest. DAP stands for Decentralized Application, and Crypti is inviting developers who know Node.js and JavaScript to develop Crypti-specific dApps. The current reward is about $4,200 worth of Crypti and growing. Submissions are due December 8th, and winners will be announced December 22nd. Lawnmower is an app which interfaces with your bank account to round up the purchase price of everyday goods and services to their nearest dollar and use that change to purchase bitcoins automatically. Lawnmower has just announced that they have added thousands more banks and credit unions, making the app more accessible for more people. Developer Alex Vandesand has just released the first GUI wallet for Ethereum. This means that Ethereum users can now buy and sell Ether without being restricted to their computer's command line only. Wired reports that light-emitting diodes, or LEDs, are being used to grow superior strains of cannabis. Blue LEDs, for example, have been shown to increase the cannabinoid content of some strains. As LEDs continue to become more customizable and cheap, Growers report that they are saving on their electricity costs. It would seem that whistleblowing is catching on as a new Snowden has leaked documents to The Intercept. The leak is called the Drone Papers and reveals details of the assassination campaigns carried out by the US military in the Middle East and North Africa. And speaking of drones, the Hacker News reports on a new tool called Drone Defender. This tool can disable a drone from up to 400 meters away by emitting a radio signal that causes the drone to sense that it's gone off course. The drone's pilot is no longer able to control it at this point, and it either lands or returns to its point of origin. And in more drone news, Wired reports that the company PowerUp is currently developing a paper plane based drone kit which will host a camera and will allow the user to fly it using virtual reality goggles. And this has been your Daily Decrypt. Be sure to subscribe and give us a shout out in the comments, why don't you?